In Ukraine, the Russian military is shelling areas near the capital where they had promised to scale back fighting. Ukraine's president told his people last night that the effort to repel Russia's invasion has reached a turning point. The Ukrainians say they have pushed back Russian tank units in several areas. The White House said yesterday that Russian officials may be afraid to tell President Vladimir Putin how badly the war effort is doing. Holly Williams is near the southern city of Kherson. Here is the evidence that Russia's invasion has stalled in parts of Ukraine. A burned out Russian armored personnel carrier that Ukrainian forces say they destroyed just four days ago. We traveled with a convoy of Ukrainian soldiers yesterday, volunteers from all walks of life heading to reinforce the front line. Andriy Rogalsky was a crane operator until he signed up earlier this month. He's had just two weeks basic training and told us he's frightened he could be killed. But said he and the others here have defeated those fears because they know what they're fighting for. It's pure evil what they, they, they did. Pure evil. Exactly, pure evil. He's talking about this. Russian attacks on hospitals, apartment buildings and civilians. The US says it's seen clear evidence that Vladimir Putin's forces are committing war crimes. In the besieged city of Mariupol alone, the United Nations says thousands of civilians may have been killed. But Russia is also taking heavy losses in the face of a Ukrainian resistance much tougher than many expected. Seven to 15,000 Russian troops have been killed in around a month, according to a NATO official. In comparison, in 20 years of war in Afghanistan, the U.S. lost fewer than 2,500. Andriy Rogalsky believes Vladimir Putin is a tragedy for both Ukrainians and Russians. He has a mentality like a mafia. mafia. He's like a, a, a mafia person. Yeah, yeah. Mafioso. Yeah. Second Lieutenant Tatiana Chornovol has frontline experience of Russia's military capabilities. She's a former politician and mother of two who's now tasked with taking out Russian tanks. She told us this was one of her hits. The Russians are fighting stupidly, she said. They don't have a strategy or tactics. They're falling into the same traps and their commanders are just pushing them to advance. A British intelligence chief said today that the Russians have weapon shortages and have even accidentally shot down their own aircraft. But ironically, he said that Vladimir Putin has succeeded in making NATO more united than before. Gail? Holly Williams reporting from Ukraine. Thank you.